This video is on the Online Research Database ProQuest. Now, there are two ways to access ProQuest. One is from home and one is on campus. From home or off campus, you want to make sure you're logged into Access Rio. And on the left-hand side menu, click on Library. You will see a full list of our databases in alphabetical order. You can scroll down and click on ProQuest. The other option is if you are on campus to follow the links through our library website, selecting articles and databases from the left hand side menu. And from the full list here in alphabetical order, again, you would go down to ProQuest and select that link and it will open up the database. Either way, it will open up the database for you. Now, a few things about ProQuest. ProQuest happens to be a social science focused database. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't cover other topics, it does, but its emphasis happens to be on the social sciences. And I'll show you right now what I mean by what types of topics it does cover. So ProQuest I like to refer to as the parent name of the parent company. And within ProQuest are its databases, or I like to call baby databases. So when you click here, it says Databases 5. When you click on that, it's going to show you the complete list of databases that live within ProQuest. These are all ProQuest databases. And this is the full list of databases that you are actually searching through when you're searching through ProQuest through Rio Hondo College's databases. So you'll see here, this is one, two, three, ProQuest Central. And within ProQuest Central are all of these databases. And then number four and five are down here at the bottom, ending with SIRS. Now each of these databases has its own emphasis or specialty. You'll see listed beneath the name is a short description of the database and what it focuses on. ERIC, for example, is an education-focused database. This is an accounting database, aerospace, arts and humanities, biological science, etc. So when we search through ProQuest, we're searching through all of these. If you know you don't need some of these databases for your research, you can always unselect all of them and make selections on the databases that you do want to search through. That way you'll have a little more of a refined list of results. For this demo, I'm going to keep it with all selected and do my search with all of the databases. The other thing you're going to notice here are some boxes or fields where you can type in your keyword search. There's also an and here that also contains or or not. These are your Boolean operators which help with your search. You want to make sure that whatever you're typing in here is spelled correctly and typed correctly because these databases tend to be very literal. So my search is going to be on the border wall as you see here. Now, when I'm searching in this database, it tells me right here that I am searching in anywhere. I do have other options. If I click on this, I can also search by more specific areas of articles. I can search by author, I can search by title, or by publisher, or by abstract if I want to be more specific. But I'm going to leave it in searching anywhere. So anywhere in the document, as long as it has the word border wall, that's what I'm looking for. Now you'll notice also that full text is automatically selected for me. This is good. This means that in my results, I'm going to get articles where the full complete article text is included. If I don't have this checked off, I could potentially get article titles with details about the article, but not the actual article itself. So I want to make sure this is checked off. I'm going to leave the rest of it as it is. I'll discuss peer reviewed once we get into our results. 
Just go ahead and click search or hit enter to conduct your search.